And we are back. Uh, felt that uh, should talk a bit more regarding families. Uh, I think there is a, a very bad uh, focus placed upon it and uh, for some reason it's linked with uh, some sort of a divine understanding and it is uh, definitely screwed up and mixed up and each are not in their proper places. So let's take, for instance, the understanding of the scriptures out there. We understand that a regular Bible is extremely twisted. It was not meant to be used as a guideline of faith because it's extremely twisted and doesn't bring the understanding of the Torah. It does not bring the understanding of the set-apart camp and it does not bring the understanding of the Goy's portion in it. So it starts there. And then the other topic is, since they understand in their own reasoning that the Torah is abolished, and they don't know why the Torah abolished should be in the Bible anyway, they can't explain the giftings, and most of them they don't even have in giftings. So if they can't explain these, obviously they don't have any faith. And then coming from these kind of a line at start, started so badly, would they understand that the family then would be godly? Absolutely not. They don't have the minimum understanding where the family fits. The family was meant simply for procreation and having a place for them. In terms of the ministry, it is another situation. And it is very important understanding because Yahshua he was not given a bad report of the family. He only was saying, if you can't hate, meaning you can't have your focus of yourself, your very core of your very being, should not be placed on the family. It's nice of having a family because it was created for a certain purpose. But the main core of the focus of the person should be Yahshua. And most of the time, this false savior out there places the focus on each other to satisfy the flesh. And this is when Yahshua said, if you don't hate your own flesh, your desire to satisfy each other in the flesh, if you don't hate them in this aspect, then they are not worthy of him. And that's when family becomes an idol. So without the proper understanding of the Mashiach, the very fact of having a family and trying to find some sort of a divine link with it from a Bible that is twisted, from a place that they don't understand the gifting, they don't even understand that there is no gifting. They can't under explain their faith and they truly are under because they can't come up with their own answers from their own Bibles. And they make idol out of their own families. And they satisfy each other's flesh. And then the time, okay, get your Bible and share it. What does it come out? Where is the divine link that came from the family side that would explain the scriptures if they think it's so godly where is the godly in it if you can't explain and share the word and then obviously they can't explain it and they get caught there they are those dumb demons again they come out of them and they have that staring glare on their faces and then come on share it and then what do you learn in your establishment of the church what do they teach what kind of anointing do you have can you share what do you share and then it's very obviously a person is then concludes they have made idols of themselves 
it's not only the fact that uh, the Creator said don't make any images they stare at each other they are their own images images of idolatry because they are idolatry in each other that's why Yasha said if you don't hate this kind of a focus placed on each other then they are not worthy of him because they made the family an idol became an idol they do every situation they can to satisfy the flesh and Yahshua say no this is not what it was meant for it was a place that a person would be raised in the scriptures in the instructions to be used later but where is the focus in satisfying each other's pleasure and then where is the word open up the word and then share it and then no words comes out they are deceived and then the situation is when they die they go straight to the first death because they don't understand from behind this doctrine of theirs comes out to this fact of they made a kingdom of this world of themselves in Yahshua taught this world is condemned so if you are in a situation that you are only pleasing your family members then you are not worthy this means you have made this condemned world your own kingdom and the kingdom to come you are not part of and then repetitiously people they go to this first day observance and they get their Bibles and they can't explain it there is no life in them and then where do they get the information from then any person coming in with a sound doctrine then they get angry because then their demons in them are confronted but then let's give them a chance of explaining themselves where is your Bible read your Bible and share it what do you share from the word what do you understand from the word let's listen they made this world their own kingdom precisely what Constantine taught Satan's teachings he couldn't break up and steal the anointing from the set apart people so he reversed it he made this world their own kingdoms and they are not part of the kingdom to come so it's very important placing each of these topics in its own place family was not meant to be pleasing each other it's focusing in Yahshua the Messiah so they then share with other people so they get saved this is the objective that's why Yasha said if you do not hate the fact of pleasing each other only without the focusing in him they are not worthy should they hate each other and not ever be there and be helpful of course not they should be in fact helpful to each other but focusing in Yahshua but then they get self-justiced they get some self-justice from somewhere they don't even know where and their own Bible when they open they can't explain it where is your gifting? doesn't exist oh it does exist but have not found mine yet okay show me a person with a gifting 
Uh, oh, this person over there can heal the people. Oh, he can heal the people. Away from the camp. Sure, do you have any idea that this is a false anointing to deceive you? What kind of a savior do they preach? Ah, oh, it's some sort of a, a J deity. Or do you know where it came from? Ah, oh, it's the savior. Are you truly sure? Where do you have your manuscripts from? Ah, oh, from this sector. So then, show it. And share it. And they can't share it. Because they are deceived. So then the proper understanding of family is making sure they are focusing on Yahshua the Mashiach and they are instructed properly. And where do they get teachings from? From people of the camp. The whole family group, they go there, mostly the males, then of course would receive teaching and then they teach at home. Sometimes Ruach HaKodesh decides to have a person to teach in the public. Is that wrong sometimes for kids being around? Sometimes it is because they only cause noise. When Ruach HaKodesh is doing his influencing, he prefers the kids not to be involved because they should learn quietly at home. Shaul said, whatsoever is done, let it be done orderly. So much more coming up.